¿Qué tal? Me llamo Joyce and today we're gonna be doing a reaction video for my old photos. Medyo nervous ako dito kasi pangit ko dati. Thank <laughs> you puberty. I went through a lot of stuff in my life and I feel like I was able to be really blessed by having the chance to express myself in different ways whether it was my hair, the way I spoke, the things I read, the things I did, and also stuff that I wore and the tattoos that I got that I sometimes regret today. So, let's start with our old photos. Oh gosh, you can see the tambak of the damit sa I feel like I have a cool one. I have blonde or red lipstick, red beanie, and a sweatshirt in the tropical country of the Philippines. With my guitar at the back, I was around... 17 or 18 years old in this photo. The best part of this photo is that it's covering my eyebrows because it's so plakado of no eyebrows ko no pa nung yas. But it's tenancy level. I really took time to go in front of the mirror to take selfies and upload on Instagram. At uso pa ang photo grid no. Oh, cute yan. In fairness, you have to give that to me, cute yan. During the time, mga 17 to around 19 years old or more. Actually, par mga 18 to mga 1920 different yung hair ko and the last one was red but this time if you can see from that past photo dung blonde ako di ba parang may undercut ako kung may kita niyo dito nag-grow na yung undercut so my undercut was growing and I kept bleaching my hair and kept bleaching it and I would color my hair literally every week kasi it's a fade siya so it would go into my clothes my pillowcase it would bleed out and so I just colored anyway I used to be super white now I'm so tan but that's my natural skin color and my natural hair color just yeah <laughs> You know, I really honestly miss this haircut a lot. And this haircut is actually pretty significant to me because this was the time when I moved out of my parents' house. I was 18 and I started living alone, living with housemates. And I really felt like it was a transitioning phase in my life. And I'm sure that some of you guys are experiencing that or are about to experience that. Na parang, ano kasi point ng life mo na hindi mo lang maintindihan ko na yung nangyayari. Either good or bad. Oh my gosh! I think this is one of my first ever sponsored posts. I would just like to thank Doc Martens. <laughs> they gave me that one pair of shoes and I was starting out as a host and someone believed in me. I didn't have a lot of followers. Hindi pa super uso yung influencer thing non. Or if it were super uso na, hindi pa, hindi pa applicable to a lot of people and, and bloggers. And I was starting out my blogging that time. Tumblr days, Instagram days. And I really just felt so blessed because it goes a long way. Parang especially if you're starting out in the industry and somebody says na, hey, you're worth a pair of free shoes. I, I really felt so blessed during that time. I just want to take this time also to thank everyone who believed in me during those times and who sent me free stuff and told me that I was a good host or that was I was cool for having or being the weird kid on the block. So, yeah, that's cool. Good times. Good times. Grabe, grabe no. Grabe guys, di ba? Nasa shock pa rin ako hanggang tingnan mo naman kung gaano kaliit yung legs ko niyan. <laughs> Ang payat ko pa niyan. Tapos nag-shoot kami sa bahay ko pa may plug. <laughs> Wala pa kaming erasing up niyan. I studied fine arts in UP Diliman and one of my blockmates, si Jan Castolo, she started out her own clothing line. It was called Livestock and that was her design and we had a little shoot at home. I really honestly believe that when I started my career ko in entertainment, a lot of my friends would always ask me to sing or host for them or take photos for them, model their clothes or anything like that. And I never got paid for anything and I never really asked for, for much except if they wanted to give me the free stuff, I was always grateful for it. And that's when it really happened for me. I just you know started making all of these connections and working from one brand to another and then until eventually um, I started working on TV so yeah this was actually a time I was already working in TV or parang kakatapos ko lang mag TV and then I was on a one year break off of it so uh, this was a very special day because this was the day that we shot Tales from the Friend Zone season, uh, episode 5 with Ramon Bautista and R.A. Rivera sa UPIS Sobrang special nitong araw na to because it actually marked that project that really changed the horse for me. At dun ko nakita yung importance and sobrang pagiging fun ng social media. Kasi I had maybe like 10,000 followers on Twitter the time that I left TV. And this during this time, wala na ako sa TV eh. 
And then all of a sudden, overnight, because of that video, siguro yung following ko nag-double or nag-triple because of that specific video. And it wasn't even supposed to push through because as you can see from my face, I was super sick as in trangkaso levels at that time. Pero mahal na mahal ko si Ramon siya kasi RA kaya talagang, at siya kasi sabay tones kaya pinush ko yung shoot na yan. And that was the birth of Luning Ning in Tales from the Friendzone season, uh, episode 5. Grabe! Victor Pring, tsaka isa pag Victor Pring na mas manipis yung kilay. This was a couple of years back lang, so I was 20, 21, when I had started to grow my hair and I couldn't bleach it anymore the same way that I did before. Bleach ko lang yung kalahati ng buhok ko, tapos ginawa ko siyang blonde. Ito yung mga times na nagbubulaga na ako eh. Tapos si Victor Pring, mahaba pa yung buhok niya and super payat niya. Grabe. Ah, diba? Fine arts student na fine arts student. First year college in UP Dalaman, fine arts major in visual communication. We would always shoot in front of AS or Palma Hall. This was me as an Englishman in New York. Nung time na to, first time ko ever magkaroon ng expensive quote-unquote pair of shoes kasi wala talaga akong pambili ng shoes. Pero hindi ko siya suot dito. Sa ibang shop ko siya suot. I had the chance my parents got me a pair of Zoo Yorks and those were really hard to come by kasi wala naman talaga kami pere pero napabili kami ng pair of Zoo Yorks that time and so I wanted to do a shoot that was called Englishman in Zoo York because of the song Englishman in New York. So, next diba? Hipster! This is um, one of my most favorite hostings ever. I got the chance to host for Aeropostal. They taught me that you don't say Aeropostal because I thought it was Aeropostal. You pronounce it as Aeropostal. During that time, I was so blessed because events teams would get me, especially Saga, would get me even though I had weird hair. And you see how long my hair was already. Tapos yung undercut ko, dun pa rin siya. Ayan, ito na. Ito na yung start of my pabebe days. Hindi, actually, hindi to start ng pabebe days ko. I had the chance to get an endorsement for a shampoo. And so they had my hair colored dark. So that's why it's that dark. But this was during my first ever endorsement shoot for Burger King. I think when you look at all of these, the plethora of fashion and hair statements that I went through as a young woman, I really get to reflect on it on such a way that you just have to allow yourself to explore all of these things about who you are, about what you want, who you want to become. And then eventually, I feel like you will arrive at the woman you're really supposed to be, who is someone that I think I'm becoming today. So as embarrassing, as funny, as silly as it is to go back to all of these memories, I really feel such a strong connection to that same but different girl that I see in the photos. I encourage you if you're a woman or a man that's going through a transition phase in your life right now to just be strong, embrace who you are and embrace who you will become because at the end of the day, you get to look at all of these photos and memories and just smile and be thankful for who you've become.